additive is fundamentally changing how we manufacture products. And data management in AM is one of the biggest potential areas that we're not currently taking advantage of. AM is the first process to be born in the age of data. And what that means is we have access to reams and reams of data coming from different systems, different locations, different perspectives. And that's potential if we take advantage of it. It's waste if we don't. So one of the areas that are of utmost importance to the Additive Manufacturing Center of Excellence for ASDM International is data management. Data management allows you to be efficient in collecting the data, managing the data, storing the data, and also analyzing the data to generate and harvest meaningful intelligence. Data management from an additive manufacturing perspective means being able to collect and correlate and link all of the data that's generated and used throughout the additive manufacturing lifecycle. So all of the data about all of the powders and different raw materials that are used. From the original design to maybe a design for additive manufacturing that can be subsequently printed. And then we have the inspection of the part downstream to make sure that dimensionally the part met its requirements. And then there's the non-destructive testing that has to occur. That also has to match the original design intent. So all of these different areas require a lot of data, both stored and analyzed. You're talking about not megabytes or gigabytes. This is hundreds and thousands of terabytes of data. Zeta bytes, a billion terabytes on a factory floor. I mean, we're using these old formats designed for sheet metal and laboratory prototyping, SCLs. We're dealing with something different now. We have some really amazing hardware. And I think to get the most out of it, we need a data model which can keep up. Trying to manage the data stream in additive has been one of our larger challenges. Everything from keeping track of the health of additive machines to keeping track of the powder feedstocks that you're introducing into the machines to keeping track of what's being built, keeping track of the data that may result from witnessing of those builds, and then the whole larger infrastructure of data. The biggest challenge is obtaining consensus on what data is important. What information do we need to be collecting? How we should be capturing? What should be the schemas? There's an absolutely very critical need to have standardization across the board. There are a lot of needs for standards in additive manufacturing because the processes are highly variable. We're still trying to decipher all the data that's been collected to understand what standards need to be built. You have to be involved with SDM if you work in standardization. All this data needs to be managed. It's crucial for the success of this roadmap that we cut the entire data management elephant into pieces. And it's very important that everybody works together on solutions. And so the roadmap is the strategy or the prioritization of how we're going to attain that. The hope here is that we can identify opportunities to develop standards, qualifying a process, as well as certifying products. That's the goal. But in order to get there, we need the roadmap. AmericaMex and ASDM International collaboratively worked on a document that is meant to be a roadmap in addressing standard gaps around AM data management. This roadmap allows you to understand the nuances within data management, allows you to understand how you're going to able to capture data safely. In terms of whether the ASTM Data Manufacturing Center of Excellence is going to expedite standards development, I would say yes. The ASTM funding is going to push us forward at a much more rapid clip. ASTM's ability to push the research to the standards in a new and novel way is helping us get to the standards faster. There are several important aspects to think about whenever you start to consider the importance of the Center of Excellence. The first thing is that there's no single organization that's doing everything on their own. That's what makes ASTM very special because no other SDO has brought together such a wide diversity of collaborators where we have the government officials, the regulators, we have the university researchers, and then we have the experts in the industry that can create these consensus standards that we need to make sure that we have widespread adoption. Whether you are in the US, Europe, or Asia, anywhere in the world, you're able to look at this roadmap and obtain necessary information 
This roadmap is meant to be an international guideline in order to allow you to conduct research and development. Data is a really mundane piece of information. It's necessary, but its use is the most important. What do we do with that data? What do we learn from that data? What decisions are driven by that data? And how are we sharing that data so others can take advantage of it as well? And that's not just data management, that's the ecosystem of data. The ability to acquire data, the ability to manage that data, and the ability to use that data as a community.